Frans van der Werf and I'm sitting here next to my colleague uh, David Wood and we are both here at the ESC in Barcelona. And both of us have been involved in an important uh, initiative funded by the uh, European Commission. Uh, it's called Cardioscape and in fact it has been presented here on Saturday for the first time. So uh, David, you were the driving force behind uh, Cardioscape. Can you tell us what, what Cardioscape is, uh, what are the, the key results and where it, it will go in the future? So Cardioscape is a, uh, a project which is describing the European cardiovascular research landscape. In other words, we are trying to identify um, who is funded to do what, uh, and by whom and where they are doing this work, uh, whether it be at a, a European um, or a national level. And in describing the picture, the complete picture of cardiovascular research funding, we hope that this will be of value to both scientists and to the funding bodies themselves in deciding how to shape the cardiovascular research agenda and who to work with and on what uh, topics. Uh, the system we have used is rather unique. Huh? Uh, can you say a few words on this? <laughs> yes, we, we wanted to get a complete uh, data set. We wanted to know um, over a defined period of time, three years, 2010, 11 and 12, um, what project grants of 100,000 euros or more had been awarded uh, by every funding agency at a European and national level, whether government or private and charity. And in order to do that, we had to assemble um, uh, a database of these funding organizations, and we did that through the National Societies of Cardiology, through distinguished scientists in each country, in basic, in clinical, in population sciences. We identified the funding organizations, we wrote to them and uh, encouraged them to provide their data. And the end result is a database, uh, now in the public domain, which is populated uh, by all of these grants uh, with information about uh, the investigators, the abstract of the grant, the amount of funding awarded and so on. The classification of the projects uh, has been done automatically and I think this, as far as I know, this is for the first time such a system has been used uh, for such a big project. Well, ta the taxonomy that we developed for Cardioscape is absolutely unique. It was based initially on the ESC Congress topics and then we embraced the uh, specialty topics of each of the ESC journals. And finally, we added to it our ourselves. And this work was done by three research fellows who then engaged with a medical informatics group charity at the charity hospital in in Berlin who created the automatic classification system which means that we can now analyze not just a few hundred projects but thousands of projects and it is available now online and it's available online now you will see uh, on the screen the cardioscape website uh, please access this and look at the data it's of great interest well, I look forward to use it myself eh, for future yes. project submissions. And I, well, of course, I know a bit of it. Uh, I think it's great and I think it's going to be helpful for all involved in cardiovascular research in the future. Yeah. Thank you, David. Pleasure.